This is how I managed to navigate the stock market and transform from a complete beginner to a savvy investor. I still remember the day I decided to take the leap and start my stock market journey. I was a complete beginner with zero knowledge about the market and I didn't even know where to start. But I was determined to learn and I wanted to make my money grow. So when I first started, everything seemed so overwhelming. I didn't understand what the terminology was for all these stocks and shares. The charts and the graphs looked like a foreign language. And to be honest, I was just so scared of making my first investment. I didn't want to lose any money. And I felt like I was just in way over my head. Um, and it made me doubt my ability to succeed. So what I did, firstly, was I spent hours watching YouTube videos, I read some articles from Financial Times, I tried to make sense of it all. But the more I learned, the more I realised how little I actually knew. So it got really frustrating and there were times when I just felt like giving up and not investing at all. But I didn't. I kept pushing forward and I slowly but surely managed to click, things start to make sense, and I began to understand what the basics of investing were. I started to develop my own strategy before starting, and then I made my first investment. It was so exciting. So the first thing that I had to do was choose a platform for myself, and I chose Trading212 because it was simple enough for my needs, so I chose my first stocks on that. So initially, I had to sign up to Trading212. They're not sponsoring this video, this just happens to be the site that I used. Um, so on Trading212, I logged in and I firstly familiarized myself with the site and I've always used the app. I've never used the website. Um, I wanted something simple, concise, that I could just open the app, decide what I needed to do, figure out one thing instead of getting even more confused. So once I got into the app, I decided how much I was going to spend. Now for me, I wanted to choose an amount of money that I wouldn't miss if, if I lost it. So if I realized I was going to lose money, how much would I be willing to lose? Like we pay money on coffees, we pay money on dinner when we go out. Like how much would I actually not care if I never seen it again? Um, so per month I chose my amount that I would have that amount every single month for stocks. Um, I wanted it for longevity. I didn't want to just do it once and never see a growth. I wanted something that would accumulate over 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 time. So I decided on my amount and then I had to choose my first stocks. And I was like, well, what do I choose? I don't know anything about stocks. And then I decided based on some of the articles that I'd read, when you start, you don't need to focus on the financial side of it. Think about where you trust your money to go. So I decided, I use hundreds of products in my life. Um, I'm going to choose 10 stocks and split my money across 10 different stocks on things that I use all the time. So I always use Google products. I always have a Google phone and Chromecast. I use Chromebooks, Samsung. I always use Samsung tablets, um, Apple MacBook. I use MacBooks to edit. Um, what else? Amazon. I'm always using Amazon. I use my banks so I think it was Lloyd's TSB was the owner of my banks at the time um, things like that and then so for you like maybe you use a Hoover maybe use a Dyson Hoover and you've got a Dyson hair straighteners or whatever like if you trust that company enough to use their products why wouldn't you trust them enough to invest I, I decided to invest in the products that I currently use that made sense to me um, and to be fair it's worked really well so far so I, I'm glad I did that and it helped me to get comfortable with how to buy and sell like when the stocks were starting to go down. How low would I be happy for it to go down before I sold those stocks? If I sold those stocks, when the stocks got high, will I take out the whole amount or do I just take out the amount I've made and put it somewhere else? Like all those little decisions that I decided to make. Um, and that's how I chose my first stocks. And after that, it just became self-explanatory. Every month, it just made sense. And I've found my way, I found my feet. So it was really simple in that, at that point. And one of the most important things that I did was to actually educate myself as I was going through it. So I read books, I went on a couple of webinars, I joined online communities, and there's a community on the app as well. So I learned about different strategies and I'll start to 
developed my own approach. Obviously I made mistakes and of course I learned from them and I kept moving forward. But then I also started to focus on my mindset. I realized that investing wasn't just about making money. It was about changing my mindset to become more disciplined and patient with my finances. So I started to think long term and I stopped worrying about short term losses. Um, so looking back, I, I cannot understand now that one of the biggest mistakes I made was being too emotional. I'd get caught up in the hype of a particular stock and I would invest on things without actually looking it up first. Um, but as I continued to learn and grow, I started to develop a more level head. I started to make decisions based on logic rather than emotion. So each month before I sat down to put that investment in, I'd put some extra time aside to research the top performing stocks for that, that time period, that week or that month, and I'd place my stocks there. And then I could do a review of which stocks were improving or getting worse. And then I became more comfortable with them. And then I could play it by ear. So one top tip that I live by is don't sell them just because they're going down. You never know when the stock itself is going to jump back up. The turning point for me was actually when I realized that my investment strategy was working. I made some really smart investments and my portfolio started to grow. It was an incredible feeling and it gave me the confidence to keep moving forward. Check that out. So as I look back on my first year, I'm reminded of just how far I've come. Being a complete beginner to becoming an informed investor has been a wild ride. But the most important thing that I've learned is investing isn't just about making money. Become the better version of yourself and you will learn so much. Let me say thank you for joining me on this journey and I hope that you've learned something from my experiences. If you're a beginner, please don't be discouraged. Keep pushing forward and never give up. And if you're an experienced investor, I would love to hear from you about your journey in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content and let's continue to grow and learn together. And if you're just about to get started in buying your first stocks, I hope that inspired you. Good luck, everyone. Bye. Woo!